He was married to this pretty lady for 70 years, and that could be a sweet story about Giles Lee, but there's more. At 94, he still remembers all the close calls from his rodeo days. Named to the Cowboy Hall of Fame in Hobbs, he did it all. Well, the one that, that hurt me most of all was a bull ride. Giles says he had a lot of broken bones, but he still can't believe he crawled out of one bad accident. I had a, a horse fall with me and roll over the top of me. Lucky for him, a muddy arena softened the blow. He was injured, but at least alive. Did you go to the hospital? Were you injured? No, I got out of that. I, I talked him out of that. And that's when Giles talked me out of this story and into another one. I'm not that famous. <laughs> I do want to bring it to your attention that, that I have a friend. Turns out Giles is a veteran, and his best friend at Shinnery Oaks is another veteran who also served in the Air Force during World War II. I admire him because he, he was in combat. I was, wasn't in combat. He was uh, the, the pilot and got in his mission to, as, as bombing Germany. But we all know pilots couldn't do their job without servicemen like Giles, who worked on the ground crew. We were mechanics and kept the airplanes flying. And all checked in the fuel full and uh, the bombs loaded. Giles wanted me to meet his friend and fellow veteran, Lieutenant Warren Paul New. So he rolled back inside looking for the real story at Shinnery Oaks. Where's Paul's room? And when these two found each other in the lobby, oh. it was obvious there was a connection. Hi, Kevin. How are you, sir? The wheels of time rolled away as Giles traded his cowboy hat for his World War II cap. After all, the B-29 mechanic in the Pacific and the B-17 pilot in the Atlantic had lots of stories to share. We would take off and go up to the clouds. We couldn't see a thing for maybe a... Thirty minutes. Ted been on the crew. I was the pilot. So you're a war hero. No, um, I just survived. It's a lifelong friendship that began in their nineties. You're a year older than I am. Can you beat that? They joke about who's older. They tease about their titles. He calls me captain, and I was I was a staff sergeant. And today, they laugh about who will be more famous when this story airs. You're going to be famous. <laughs> you think that's kind of funny? And every time it ends the same between these two veterans. <laughs> and famous friends. You're the captain all right. So the real story here at Shinnery Oaks <laughs> is a special friendship that formed 72 years after service to the flag.